All right, so this is going to be the third part of the A52 5G main FPC connector. So I wasn't happy with the with the first one, first two. <laughs> I think this is the second one. I really worked hard on making sure all the connectors, all, all the pins looked just fine, but still wasn't getting the screen to display even though I was getting uh, a bit of charge although the charge was still sporadic so this time uh, I just went ahead and I said you know what whenever I install this we're gonna set this thing down right we're gonna make sure it's nice and flat on it all the pads are nice and fluffy all uniform and then lay the connector on and while applying heat put pressure even pressure across the entire connector and make sure that everything makes a good solid connection and no touch-up necessary so here we're removing that connector there we go and just looking at the connection right now I mean everything is looking pretty good Here we're just going to clean it up with some alcohol. Yep, all the solder looks looks relatively nice. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all. But yeah, I'm still not sure why I'm not getting a connection and no display. So here we're just going to blow dry that thing. And yeah, I got some more of those pesky whiskers coming off of my Q-tip. So let's dig that out. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer of flux. And at this point, you know, I've, I've got the mic off for this, and right now I'm just doing a commentary for it. I mean, I commentaried two 45-minute videos, and uh, I was ready to go. I was just ready to get this done. But here now, I'm trying to use the a lot of flux, so I'm trying to swim everything. So everything should be almost like it's underwater. And I'm trying to touch that with a iron it's nice and hot with just the tiniest bit of solder on it I'm just tapping it but see right there I'm doing the wrong thing I'm swiping across and I'm just going back and forth this is a mistake that I continue to make and see the nippling <laughs> these little nipples that's because it's not swimming it's not under flux but see I just keep messing with it I get into my own little world and I just start playing around with with the solder. <coughs> but here I, I realize my mistake. I'm gonna try to add more flux. Now I've cut. I went ahead and cleaned it up, and I said, you know what? I'm not gonna mess around with the iron anymore. I'm just gonna try to make up something. <laughs> I've gotten really. Uh, uh, I'm starting to favor. The liquid solder. I actually really like it. So what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of liquid solder to everything. Okay, I'm kind of being a little, little generous, but not too much, because uh, you you don't want to apply too much because then you're going to end up. It's going to end up making connections that you don't want. So here we're probably using, I'd say 360 at 360 temperature at 30 wind speed. That's why it's taking a moment for it to heat up. But I feel like I have more control, <coughs> more control over where the solder flows when my wind speed is down. So I just slowly heat it up. Now I may have increased the wind speed right there. 
may have been that little break I took. There we go, all the solder starts to melt, and you'll see here there's already two bridges, three, four, five, six, seven spots that I'm not liking. So I'm already like, okay, okay, this is going to be a little bit of cleanup. So if you can see that, there's some loose solder that's balled up. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Once I have it clean, I can start playing around with those, those bridges and get them cleaned up. Get them to kind of separate. Okay, just a little bit of alcohol. And one of my favorite things is whenever that board is still relatively warm. I, I love applying the alcohol to it and just hearing it or seeing it kind of evaporate instantly. That's pretty cool. So here we're just going to point some stuff out. I've got a couple of spots there, a big ball of solder there, and you can see it from the side. There's our bridges, the big ball, bridge, bridge, big ball, bridge. Yep, those are the ones we need to fix. Okay, so here we're applying some air. I'm using 360 at 30. What I'm trying to do here is just use the tweezers to just swipe away, knock away some of that solder or displace it evenly into or onto other connect connections. Then here is a little bit of a sensitive area, so I have to be a little gentle here, so I'm going to knock it into the center here, or try to pick it up and not hit those little guys beside it. There we go, I got it. And then I moved on to another section. There we go, those are looking good. That one was a little large, but I left it. Here we go, we knocked that one off. Just a little bit of extra solder. At this point, I've already applied a thin layer of flux, and I'm ready to reapply. So like I said, this time, this time I did a good job. I know I did it perfect this time. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Let that solder melt across. There we go. The only thing I left out of the uh, video there was a little bit of pressure that I was applied on top of the connector with the tweezers. And here I was just checking my connections. Recording. Okay. After all this time, we are culminating this repair into a working device. It's, it's finally happened. So, if you remember from the last video, or if we put all these videos together, last thing we tried was the second or third FPC connector, and that one was on right. We pushed everything down nice and tight. We added a little bit of um, liquid solder to a few pins at the top, micro tweezered those. Everything looked great. We put it over on the charger, plug it up, we get a draw. We see that we're pulling power into the battery, and I hold the power button down after about 10 minutes, and I, I see if it turns on. Whenever it turns on, I feel it vibrate, and I, the screen does not display. So... I was like, oh man, it's like either I messed up the or haven't installed the FPC connector correctly, or the screen is bad, or a cable is bad. So what I did is I ordered the screen and the cable, and I was prepared and ready to swap everything into the new screen. I was ready to uh, have to solder another connector on it. I was I was ready to do whatever I had to do because I'm already I'm all in on this phone. So. We're going to take a look real quick and see what happened. So let's go into the scope. 
So check this out. Here's our connector. And everything connects just fine. It, it I remember the first one I had a little trouble. I, I had to push down quite hard to really get everything good and snug and connected. But this new connector that we got runs good or it, it works well. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this. There you go. So what I did and I, before replacing the or putting everything into the new screen, I went ahead and tried the cable. So this cable from main to sub for the Samsung A52 6U coming down charge port and screen and it delivers signal. So check check this out. This is awesome. Here's the phone. We press the power button and it comes on. How cool is that? We did it. So, if you go through all that trouble and and you you take that time and you put that connector on and you're you're sure it looks great, you go over and you test it and you're not getting display. You know, like I said during the video, just just don't fret. Take a pause, walk away, take a breath, think about it. And then whenever you're sitting still, the the idea will come to you. You'll think of a either a simple solution or the next difficult solution that you're gonna have to try. So on this one we got really lucky, we replaced that one cable, it's charging and it's at right now it's at hundred percent. It's awesome. Uh we we've called the customer, they're coming to pick it up. For this repair, normally you, you most solder jobs are like ninety dollars an hour. So this one I spent like three hours on. I am not gonna charge the customer that. What I said, since he already paid for the whole repair and everything, and I didn't notice that connector until while uh, taking it apart, really until I put it back together and then found the little connector laying there. Um, I'm, I'm only charging forty extra dollars. Uh, sorry, ten for the for the extra parts and delivery. So an extra fifty bucks on top of his agreed upon price, and that was for hours of micro soldering. So he's getting a heck of a deal on this, and I know no one around here in my local area can do this kind of thing. I'm really excited to be able to offer this to the community here in Wilkes County. And for anyone watching, mail them in. The address is on Google. You can mail it to our address here. Make sure that whenever you mail it in, you've got your name, your uh, contact information, the information about the device and just write all that down uh, we'll probably have a form here soon online that you can download fill out and then just put that in the box ship it to us and we'll fix it whenever we can right now i think i showed you this in the beginning we have a package and in this package are two headsets and we're going to open this soon and start working on it if this is yours get ready it'll be live we're going to do this one live um, we're going to try to stream we, we went ahead and paid for the premium service where we can stream to everything. So like TikTok, um, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, I think even X, like it, literally everything. We're going to be live everywhere all at once. So that's going to be either stressful or really fun. I, I don't know. <laughs> but that's the goal with this stream. Well, I'm Devin at Tech Bros. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.